Hello, I'm Charlie Catta from the University of Illinois Discovery Partners Institute in Chicago. I'm also a senior com computer scientist at Argonne National Laboratory and a visiting scientist at the Mansueto Institute for Urban uh, Innovation at UChicago. I've been working with others in Chicago and around the world on urban sensing for about 12 years now, many partnerships with different departments throughout the city of Chicago, and with the goal of providing data to a wide range of science questions relevant to policy and the life in cities. And these range from climate change and urban heat island to traffic safety and noise to uh, social and behavioral science studies such as aging in, uh, in public housing. Our strategy has been to use AI at the edge to enable observations or uh, measurements that typically require a human. We started with the Array of Things project that ran from 2015 to 2021, NSF funded. Um, that gave us a, a platform called Waggle that you can see uh, right here, about 130 of these devices around the city of Chicago, all hardwired in. And then we've moved in the uh, last few years to a new project that's also NSF funded mid-scale research infrastructure project called SAGE, run by Pete Beckman at Northwestern University. With this project, we have upgraded the nodes, but moreover have made them more hackable. The software now runs on any Linux device. The hardware that we have, you can open it up and add your own sensors with power over ethernet or uh, I squared C, or just adding your own Linux sampling device uh, and plugging into power over ethernet or adding a sensor with USB. You can see a cropped image uh, from one of the devices uh, uh, behind me here. This is downtown Chicago. The SAGE project is uh, going beyond urban to also include environmental, ecological, and emergency management contexts where you want to use AI at the edge. And what we've just now in the last few months begun to do is to train students and uh, partners from around the world in writing software that can be pushed out to those nodes. Now, in the course of the last 10 years, we've had meetings, visits, discussions from all of the cities that you see with, um, with triangles on this map here, over 100. We have sent uh, hardware for evaluation to all of the places that have blue dots, including Australia uh, down here, the CSIRO, uh, the National Lab there. And the green dots here are deployments of the devices. We've learned that, of course, edge computing is critical to many of the measurements that we want to do to many of the science uh, projects, but there are other questions that we've learned from talking to cities that you also want to address with not just a few diagnostic units like a few dozen or 50 or even 100 array of things nodes, but by hundreds of lower cost devices, urban heat island, air pollution, noise. These are things that can be measured with devices like this $100 prototype, uh, we've put 115 of these from Microsoft Research partnering with JC to Co, the advertising company that runs 2,600 bus shelters in Chicago. So these uh, allow the residents to interact with the data, as you can see from, from the screen there. Our interest in international and in Taiwan in particular is uh, several fold. One, we've already been collaborating with people like LJ Chen at Academia Sinica and others on some of these strategies, particularly that uh, many, many low cost sensors. And secondly, we have an active uh, summer student uh, program that's been running since 2000, actually since 2011, we've only got group shots from 2013. And we have had students from Taiwan to be part of that. So we'd like to look at student and faculty exchanges as well. Thank you, I'm looking forward to this workshop.